Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and today is the starting of building our construction empire because we're going to be playing Construction Simulator. Now, I have been playing this for a little while now, and I have to say I am a huge fan of this. If you are a fan of detailed, complex simulation games, well, this is one for you. The game's going to be coming out on the 20th, and I have been given a little bit of an early access copy. So, yeah, I thought we'd check it out today, see if it's any good, and I'm immediately thinking I can turn this guy into Mario, so I am so down for that. Just because he has suspenders on, and it is fantastic. Now, I'm kind of a big deal in this game, because if you use code DRE, I believe, here... We should get a special helmet. And there we go. We have my logo on the hat. Now we, of course, have to turn this guy. Should I make Mario or Luigi? <laughs> uh, we have to do Mario. All right. And of course, we got to name <laughs> this man Mario. Mario's been on a little bit of a diet, by the way. Uh, yeah, so you can't really customize the um, character too much. But I'm so glad that we can actually be Mario. Now, I wonder... If there's actually two totally different regions. I'm going to be USA because, well, I'm from Canada. So I'm kind of used to that terrain. But I think you can go to Europe and it's a totally different map as well. Don't quote me on that, though. All right. And let's get the most boring logo ever. A protective vest. <laughs> I guess that's all we get. And the company name, Goomba Stompin' Inc. There we go. Now, this game is multiplayer, but you have to get quite deep into the game to get that. But yeah, if you guys want to see me and my friends do construction things let me know in the comments below right now we're going to be starting out with a new game and uh yeah there's quite a big kind of tutorial here but it's not really you're just doing jobs one summer morning you wake up in a small hometown in the distance the rooftops of a sweltering city flash in the light of the sun you vigorously forge plans for leaving this sleepy place as quickly as possible but there's no escape without money or wheels you know what? This looks like a nice place. I don't know why you want to escape. This is this is like a dream town. Then out of the blue, an old acquaintance gets in touch. It's Hape, the owner of a small local construction company. He may look tough on the outside, but his heart's in the right place, and his guidance helps you quickly break into the building industry. All right, yada, yada, yada. Uh, we have to go talk to Mr. Hape over here and start our journey of running very weirdly. Hello, Hape. How's it going, buddy? Ah, good to see you. Your active help is most welcome. That's the most I'm weird greeting ever. I'm having a tough ever. time keeping up with all the work. Do you know how many people around here are frustrated and thinking of moving away? Why? What is wrong Things with this keep place? going like that, this place could become a ghost town. To make matters worse, the water supply broke down this morning. Oh. It seems there's a crack in the pipeline. Yada, yada, yada. We so have to fix the to pipeline. Help. I'm sorry, Hape. You are not the most exciting to listen to. I'm here to do construction, damn it. Hello, neighbor. I hear you're unhappy with the place. Like, seriously, could you make a better town to be unhappy about? This looks so nice. All right, well, job number one, we have to uh, drive to the material dealer and I guess repair some sort of pipe. I do see that we have people around. So for science, of course, we have to try and run them over to see if we can play this like GTA. And... Okay, they do not exist. I also hope repair isn't a thing because I hit that pole quite hard. Okay, well, obviously this is the pipe that we need. So, um, yeah, I'm going to speed run this. Look at me go. Bam. No problem at all. Let's get there and get this thing done. No, I, 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 I would not like to see a cutscene right now. Okay, yada, yada, yada. I'm a professional. I know what I'm doing. And this tractor, you can really get some speed here. Okay, maybe we should slow down on dirt roads. Jesus, I'm kind of spinning out a little bit. All right, park the tractor in the marked area. Got it. I'll just kind of do it sideways here because I'm awful at driving tractor trailers. All right, and here we are. So we got the new pipe, the old pipe. I'm assuming we're going to have to take off. So mobile crane time. I love how I'm like two seconds into this game and I'm already playing with massive machinery. I like this. All right, so we're going to change the mode to crane mode. That's going to put out its little leggies. And... Okay, let's just figure out how to work this thing. Does look like we have a rather large crane, so I guess we don't need to go close. We're going to have to get rid of the old pipe first. Okay, so extend is up or down arrow? It's not working, unless I'm crazy. Oh, that's extending that? Aha, okay, so that extends the cable. And then left and right extends the actual arm. Got it. And just like that, we have done it. I think I should be able to place this one on this side. I don't know how to rotate it, though. I hope it's not too selective on placement. 
Does that mean I can just drop it now? Let's just try. Oh, no. To unload the hook, he must be closer to the ground. Okay, well, there. There we go. Perfect. And new pipe. Come on over. Okay, let's lift that a bit. Okay, don't damage it. Jesus. And done. Very good. You're a natural. Now get back to the tractor and take the broken pipe to its scrapyard. Okay, so there is a first-person camera, so just wanted to look around at the detail. You know what? Not bad. Bobblehead and all? I think I'm going to play this game more with first person. Oh, what do you got me doing now? There's a smaller crane there. What, what's up, buddy? I'm sure we get out of my way. Wait, was I supposed to... Oh, God. Oh, I'm not going to be able to back this thing up. Oh, I, I guess I didn't need to park it right. Perfect. All right, Hape. There's your stupid tractor. What now, buddy? I'm relieved. Thanks to your quick action replacing that broken piece, the water supply is repaired and back on. All in Good a day's job. work, buddy. Thank you. Since we're finished here, maybe you could give me a hand with something else. Old Joe owns a rundown motel on the outskirts of town. I've been promising him for a while that I would do some renovations on the Yada, yada, yada. G go yeah. help Old Joe. Okay, thanks, buddy. All right, well, I've used a big crane, so I got to assume this shouldn't be too bad. Are you Old Joe or are you Hape? Hape, how do you just come to every place that I'm at? Wait. I probably should have listened to what I'm doing. Am, am I doing asphalt? I thought being that I brought a flatbed here, I would have to do something with that, but maybe not. Hello? Do you have, like, teleportation powers? Old Can you put Joe that in your hand for once? It's weird. A little. I don't foresee any big problems. Joe's also been after a new sign on the motel roof for a while now. Something okay, that travelers so sign. can see clearly from the highway. As it happens, there's a hotel in town that's about to be torn down. That sly fox Joe picked up the neon sign letters cheap, and a crane operator on the construction site opposite owes me a favor. Drive by there later to pick up the letters. Okay. But first, let's take care of the forecourt. I have a roller ready for you. So get in and start compacting. Oh, this is exciting. I was hoping I could actually do the paving, but if I'm just compacting it, that's cool. So this kind of shows, like, how much stuff is going to be in this game. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of excited for this. How do I... I know, I know you can't just simply roll over it. I think these things vibrate, if I remember correctly. I did used to work in paving, so I didn't have a vibration one. We, we, we had a basic one, but I do know that these things vibrate. How do I turn it on? Oh, there we go. Okay, so it's in this mode. Ah, and yes, as I said, vibrations are key. Oh, yeah, that's pleasing. Okay. Well, I'm not very good at getting to the sidelines. I'm assuming with most jobs like this, you never have to do the whole thing. So you don't have to be perfect. You just have to just have to do your best, you know? Let's also go first person. Can I roll someone over? Hold on. All right, this is the perfect person to try and roll over. Hape, you are stronger than steel, my good sir. All right, let's actually take this game seriously. This is a very serious game. I mean, this is actually... This is a real cat product i didn't think cat would you know allow their products in any game like this so that's kind of impressive actually all right compacting back on there we go isn't that so much better i am satisfied with my job machine must be stopped good enough all right let's get in the flatbed go get that sign because yeah i would not know this is a motel nothing about this screams motel well there it is uh, a lot bigger than I expected. Oh, Jesus. Cr I'm sorry. I was looking at the sign. I should probably look where I'm driving. Okay, now I'm just using a massive tower crane. This game's great. I, f I thought I'd need to do, like, licenses and stuff for this, but no, they just, they just trust me. Clearly. Oh, my God. Oh, that's great. So this was a hotel, but it was called the Monument Hotel. So we're just going to take the M from Monument and put it on Hotel for Motel. Explains why this one's so much bigger. Um, okay, operation. I'll figure it out. We have the F1 bar, so I can generally figure out things from there faster. Got it. Got it. Simple enough. Oh, this camera's so smart, too. I was like, I'm going to see nothing when this goes down, but it actually follows the hook. I like this. Okay, we gotta get this per- Oh my god, can I knock it down? It's, like, moving. Hold on, let's bring it up. I think it's space to grab? Attach hook. Alright, it's not close enough yet. This is actually pretty precise. There we go, we got it. The M- Oh, oh, oh god, wrong way! I meant to go up! I meant to go- I'm sorry! Oh god. Oh, I'm so fired. God, this is gonna take forever. This is- this is, like, a legit big job. <laughs> I gotta load these two? Oh, God, I am going to destroy one of these by the end of it. All right, come on, swing it over. 
And just drop it. Of course, I can't drop it. And we have to bring it all the way down. And end, baby. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, God. Oh, God. I can't believe... Stop. Stop. Please. I swear to God, I'm not trying to do this. Okay, I almost... You know what? Actually... Wait, wait, why, why, why would we work hard? Hold on. Because this thing takes so long to get up here. What if we just, you know... Just, come on. Come on. Okay, there we go. There's one. <laughs> oh, God. I hope these things are durable. Oh, no. Did it break? Is that a broken... Is that a broken letter? All right, well, we got that. Oh, the E's right there. It's perfectly placed. Okay, Jesus. I couldn't see it because it was dark. Plus, it's kind of weird from this angle. Oh, God, this is going to be fun. All right, so in the middle there, drop it. Just drop. Oh, I went the wrong way again. All right, drop. Hold on. Okay, drop. Drop in there. Get in there. Yes! That actually went way better than expected. Okay, all in a day's work. I can use my map to fast travel places I've already visited? Hold on. Did you just tell me that so I don't have to go this far again? Can I not fast travel? Oh, yeah, perfect. Fast travel. Oh, my God. Did that cost money? Did the truck come with me? Oh! Oh, that's huge. Okay. Was I supposed to go here? Uh-oh. Where am I supposed to? Oh, yeah. Okay. We're, we're back at the motel. Now, that did cost me money, so I probably don't want to do that because I believe I have to buy everything later on in this game. So, let's maybe not fast travel from here on. Ah, so this explains the little crane. and We have to use this little thing to get it up there. This is actually probably going to be harder since... We have to really articulate this to get up there. All right, so first of all, we have to go to crane mode once again. Always drop them legs. Okay. All right, that comes out. Got it. Okay, this isn't too bad. Just got to aggressively extend up here. Oh, dude, I love the controls in this game. It's actually really well done. Um, extend, retract. Perfect. See, that's the problem. I have to go, like, way deep into this place. I'm going to hit that pillar, aren't I? Oh, God. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm actually... Hit I think I'm hitting it? No, I'm actually over it. Get in there, L. Thank God. Okay, the, the, the rest should be pretty easy. Okay, and finally, we got the main man himself, the M. Okay, I have to say, I'm kind of excited to play more with cranes. I'm getting pretty good at them. That being said, these are probably very easy. I have to remember I'm on the tutorials right now. I don't know how complex these jobs get, but I'm super excited for the future. Uh, automatically reset using... Okay, using this. Perfect. Done. Old Joe won't believe his eyes. The entryway looks better than when this place opened 30 years ago. You did an excellent job. Hey, if you're Even so supportive. Even neon signs are working perfectly. You can finally see the motel from the highway. I don't know how they're working I'm perfectly sure considering I dropped it from 12 again. stories. Do you have another minute you can spare? Minute. Then let's meet at the old gas minute. station in town. Someone else there needs our help. Typical construction worker. Nothing takes a minute. Oh, yay. We discovered a gas station. That's so surprising. All right. Um. Looks like we are ching... Is are gas tanks that small? They have to be bigger than that. Anyways, looks like we're changing a gas tank for a gas station. This gets me excited. I love dirt physics in games like this. So, our construction machine. What the frick, what the frick do you want? It's literally on top of it. Tape. God damn it, man. I want your teleportation powers. What do you... Like, look at how much better could it be? Is this, is, is this not the square? Oh my god, I don't have to park in the square. I don't have to park in the tr in the freaking sized, the perfectly sized transportation truck square. I have to park here, where there's a blue dot. Okay. Now, now I'm really frustrated. Ape, you supportive bastard. What's going on, buddy? This you and your hand. It really bothers me. His hand's always there. Has been losing money for some time. But now that more tourists are stopping here off the highway, what, they want us What'd you skip about his tent. wife? There was a whole wife thing Our in that dialogue. already waiting for you to lift it out of its so pit. confused. I also got a backhoe loader for you, so you can refill the pit when the new tank is installed. All right. Then I like you, Hape. concrete on top, and you're done. Piece of cake, right? Yeah, it sounds so easy. Let's just, let's just change a freaking gas station tank. Easy. I mean, I guess I did just deliver a whole motel sign, so this actually probably shouldn't be too bad. Um, enter flatbed truck. What? I wanted to do the diggy part. Oh, yeah, that's right. We got to get the old thing out first. <laughs> Getting ahead of myself. 
And can we reach it? Indeed we can. This thing is great. All right, so out with the old and in with the new. Oh, this is this is what I've been dreaming of. Playing with dirt. Oh, yes, there's even a cutscene. Oh, I'm so into this. Okay, so let's just get the hang of this. Very simple controls. Oh, that's inverted. That's a little confusing, but that's okay. I got it now. I guess we just go grab some dirt. Oh, dude. Oh my god, it's so similar to Gold Rush. It's actually insane. Which has some of the best dirt physics of any game. All right, let's see what it looks like when we tip it out. Oh, okay. I like this. I, I just want to dig in this game. Oh, this is great. This gets me really excited for this game. Not many games can tend to do, like, dirt physics well. This one seems to be up there with some of the better ones. Now, what happens? Hold on. I just want to see. Can I build piles? Oh. oh, I might be the only person that's getting excited about this, but I don't care. This this freaking excites me as a channel who's played lots of simulation games and dirt is never done very, very well. This gets me so freaking excited. Ah, you can even even going fast. You knock out some dirt from the bucket. Oh, oh, man. <laughs> I'm so excited to build a house now or something. Can this be a gold mining game? Because I, I would be I, I would be in heaven. Unfortunately, the game, I mean, it kind of makes sense. You don't want to spend hours digging, but you only had to do four loads to fill this thing. And I wanted to do more, damn it. <laughs> there we go. Just like that, it's filled. Drive to the vehicle dealer. With this thing? Okay. Hey, girl. Do you, do you need a lift? Oh, damn it. I'm just trying to pick up ladies. All right, and here we are at the vehicle de- Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. That was hard. Okay. Oh, Jesus. This thing is fast. All right, so I kind of wanted to see what they have for sale. Can I actually check that, or is it- Okay, that is not a real room. <laughs> I'm assuming we'll learn more of this later. Again, we're still very much in a tutorial right now. But it's looking like there's going to be a lot of stuff in this game. Mostly cat products, it seems like. Wait, where am I going? I thought I was going there. Do I? Oh, I have to fill this? Ah, oh, that's actually cool. Well, I'm going to take a shortcut because screw going down roadways. That's no fun. I'm here to save time, damn it. Oh, God. Oh, God. Hold on to it. Okay. It's fine. It's not mine. It's 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 rented. All right. Here we are. This is this is this is the magic of getting concrete, I guess. Can we draw? I wonder if we can deliver things because there's a dumping station over there. Extraction. Yes, please. Extract me. Oh, yeah, that's the good stuff. That's the good stuff. I don't know if we need this much concrete. I mean, we're doing like a, a three by three foot slab, but okay, I, I will fill this thing up if that's what you ask of me. I had to spend that money. That was $15,000. All the, literally all the money I just earned in this job, I just spent in concrete. Okay, and stop at the form work and then open, yada, yada, yada. Okay, so we just got to pour the concrete out. It comes out the right side. Pouring on off. There we go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Is that going in? Hold on. I'm sorry. Hold on. Let me just... Let me just... There. Is, is this good? There you go. Okay. I was actually missing it. Oh, that's satisfying. It actually does slowly fill up. And it fills up closer to the pouring side before the edge. Look at that. That is so good. Okay. We are done, baby. Must be one of those fast drying concretes. Jesus. I mean, I'm leaving no lines on this. I mean, hey, you know I have to, right? I just, I have to try this. There you go. <laughs> oh, God. I, I, I love you, Hape. I'm sorry I try and kill you after every job. Pete and Helena bought this property back when the town was flourishing. Oh, my God. Here we go Most with another story. Most businesses here are family-owned like this one. Okay, great. Cool. It'd be a shame if they had to shut their doors because they're no longer profitable. Of course... Things look pretty bleak if no visitors are coming to town. Where are you going with this? But you know what? Joe and I had a great idea that may sound a little crazy, but we have to give it a shot. Take the broken tank to Joe's motel. Then I'll fill you in over there. The... See you soon. Okay. Bye, Hape. 
Well, guys, I don't know what we're going to do with an old gas tank, but I think that's a good time to wrap up this episode here. Now, uh, we didn't even get into, like, the main part of the game yet. You do start with nothing in this game. You know, having all these tools is kind of fun because we can check them out real quick. Um, but, yeah, this is very much a tutorial in the actual game. I guess you start off with only a few select things and then work your way up. I got to say, I'm super excited for this game. It's been a while since there's been a very polished simulation game, and uh, as you guys know, I always have a blast playing them, and I hope you guys enjoy watching them as well. So yeah, once again, this is Construction Simulator. It's going to be coming on the 20th, and yeah, let me know if you guys want to see any more. As always, thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.